Hi there, I've used portable hides throughout my career as a wildlife filmmaker and photographer. Many of them are very good, but I couldn't find one that did everything I wanted. So I've designed my own. This is the Simon King Ultimate Wildlife Hides. First of all, it comes in its own backpack, very easy to carry around, not very heavy. This is the fun bit. It is very easy to put up. Take it out of the bag. Stand back. Stand back. <laughs> it's a pop-up. Like a pop-up tent. That's it. Right then, what makes this different from others? It's camouflaged. It's got this little camouflage trim across the top to break up the outline. Inside the bag also, there are poles which you put together to make the roof into a dome, into an apex, that stops the rain collecting in the top. It comes with tent pegs too, so you can peg down the corners and also guy lines, so you can peg it out. But one of the things I've always wanted in a portable hide is to be able to film and photograph from a comfortable seated position, but also from ground level, because very often I want to be on the level of the animal I'm working with. In addition, Unlike any other hide that I've seen on the market, not only does this have little points for tent pegs for pushing down, but also these little flaps on the corner and you can just leave rocks on it in places where otherwise you can't push a tent peg. And that means you can hold it down on a beach or on rocky ground. It's a great bonus. Right, I'll show you what it looks like. With stills photography in mind, every side has got a port that will allow even the largest of telephoto lenses through. So if I show you the one here at the front. Also, every stills port has got scrim, this netting. I'll show you how you use that. There's the port open, lens through. You can zip it up to get more snug around the lens if you choose to. And then using the scrim, which has got Velcro, you can either use a single piece across the top of the lens like this or you can take one of the scrims off the other windows and use two together as a sort of curtain. One like that, second one across the top like that. Now this is a lovely comfortable working position for a lot of wildlife photography but there are times when you want to get much lower at eye level with your subject and that's where this hide is different. This low port gives you the opportunity to get down on the level of the creatures you might be photographing. Birds, mammals, anything in a suitable habitat. It's a great perspective. The hide is even more versatile because with every photographic port you have the opportunity not just to take stills with a lens that isn't moving very much but also video where you're much more likely to need to pan around with these much wider slots. Then when you've got your camera on a tripod you can pan with the action. Start by collapsing the hide in on itself, like this. There you go. And then you make a hide sandwich. There you go, hide sandwich. Boom. Now this is the bit that many people think is tricky, but it really isn't. Just fold the hide down in half, grab it by the middle fold the little flappy bits in at the bottom like this and you've got a sort of figure of eight a bend and a bend keep this held really firmly grab one loop push it up and against yourself keep the middle held firmly grab the other loop push it up and against yourself and you've got three circles that you just have to juggle about slot into themselves, bingo, it's ready to go straight back in the backpack.